Let's hear it one more time for Denise, everybody. I do not know how I'm going to get that jacket off of her, but I'm taking it home tonight. That jacket is coming with me. I'll, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about my childhood. When I was a kid, I had a purple belt in karate that my dad would beat me with. <laughs> Didn't really hurt that much, but it doesn't feel good on self-esteem to be attacked with the very symbol of your knowledge of self-defense. <laughs> That doesn't feel good. Nobody wants to be that kid on the news that's like, a local boy was bludgeoned to death today with the trophy that he won for knowing how to defend himself against being hit with trophies. Not a smart kid. I, uh, catch up to me right now. Right now I'm broke. I'm broke and I have a job. Sure. That's one way to do it. Some people like this, some people like the job while smoking cigarettes. It's just the way to live. Sure. Okay. I, um, I'm not very good at, um, living. Anybody else here? <laughs> um, I, I get really bummed out when I think about money, you know? Because I work, like, pretty consistently, and I don't really have a lot of things to show for it, you know? I can pay the electric bill to keep the fridge on, but there's nothing in the fridge. <laughs> like, I never have... There's no new pants in my future, you know what I mean? I get really bitter when I think about money. Sometimes when I... I feel like I got a divorce from money, and everything around me reminds me of her. <laughs> My friends are like, I know what's gonna cheer you up. We'll go to a Dodger game, we had a couple beers. I'm like, no, I can't. That's what I used to do with money. <laughs> I can't do that. I don't wanna go to that restaurant. That's where me and money used to go together. Come on, guys, let's get out of the trash can. Money wouldn't be caught dead there. She's too good for trash. <laughs> I think the, the worst thing in regards to my personality and my finances is that I'm really restless. Like, I hate being home. I'm always out. I'm always trying to find something to do, but I don't have any money, so I can't afford to do anything. So I'm just, like, wandering around, like, going from store to store, just seeing what people sell. Like, I, candles, that's cool. I, I can see you selling that. You know what my favorite thing about the store is? Everything's for sale. It seems like a really good business plan. What's this thing? Oh, it's got a price tag. Never mind, I don't care. Fine. I need to find a better paying job. It's just, I hate the process of getting a job. It's so tedious. It's so slow, you know? Are you ever, in, like, ten minutes into filling out a job application, you just sort of come to terms with the way you've been living? You're like, this is fine. I'll just keep doing this. Is there a problem with taking the one working light bulb from room to room? Is that an issue? I thought I was being effective. Efficient. I wish that I could get jumped into a job the way some people get jumped into a gang. Because I could do that. Like, I might not be able to answer how I'm effective in a group effort, but I can't take a beating for eight minutes. <laughs> Easy peasy. And people are like, are you sure he's dedicated to the company? I'm like, dedicated? I have his teeth on an ashtray at my desk. He's really dedicated. <laughs> Super dedicated. Um, I'm losing my hair, don't pretend like you didn't notice. I'm losing my hair right now. My hairline is receding. I have a big bald spot that's growing back here. I have to get used to the fact that when the wind blows, it's gonna affect the top of my head. That's different. That's a new thing. Um, the other day I rested my head against a cold tile wall. I'm like, is my hair wet? <laughs> it wasn't that my hair was wet, it's that there was no hair there to get wet. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm considering converting to Judaism just so I have a hat to cover that spot. <laughs> like, I, I don't even need a hat, I just need a patch. <laughs> and the rabbi's gonna be like, listen, you don't seem very religious, but I'm an older man and I get it. <laughs> yes! I totally support this. I'm really scared of the day where I walk into a barber shop and they don't immediately know what I'm doing there. They're like, well, do you want directions? I'm like, ah. I was hoping I can get a haircut. Like a gift certificate for someone else's hair? No, I was hoping you can cut my hair. Your head hair? What do you even want us to do to it? Listen, just take a little bit off of whatever's left up there, all right? Here's $15 on a tip. Just take the scissors to make snippy sounds for a while. That's fine. There's a pile of hair on the floor. Just throw it at the back of my neck and be like, Nice thing all is, your hair is coming nice in this spring. I'm like, thanks, Francisco. <laughs> all right, that is it for me. Everyone, welcome back. Denise, everybody. Yeah.